All right, thank you, Marielle. Well, deciding to start a family is a big decision, but for some, fertility issues make it even more difficult. Fertility treatments can cost thousands of dollars and lots of heartache. TG 11's Vanessa Page shows us some of the latest options being used here in Arkansas. About 6 million women in the country face challenges starting a family, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But the men is still three months. Dr. Gloria so Richard Davis has been helping with fertility months. issues for over That's 20 years. She knows what it's like to long for a family. Where it was really fueled was I had my own issue with fertility. And so my own personal journey really fueled my passion and my interest in exploring options for other women and focusing a lot on affordability. Before giving birth to twins, she experienced every high and low while doing in vitro treatments. Not only did I go through the infertility treatment, but I also had multiple miscarriages, losses. And so that aspect is also important and being able to identify with my patients. She now works to bring the latest, most affordable options to patients at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences Center. Out-of-pocket costs for treatment can bury families in debt, and that's one thing she's working to change. The cost of treatment can be um, unaffordable to many couples, and a lot of insurance co uh, companies or employers don't provide coverage for fertility treatment. So it's an out-of-pocket expense for a lot of couples. Therefore, we are constantly looking for options that are more affordable, but still successful. Last April, she began providing in vitro the assistive reproductive treatment to patients at UAMS. It's been incredibly successful. Um, you know, a lot of the success, though, I will say, depends really strongly on the woman's age. So the earlier we can get couples into treatment, the better the success rates. However, couples hoping to start a family using IVF can pay up to $20,000 for a course of treatment, depending on their insurance coverage. Dr. Richard Davis says she's using new options that can be less expensive and more effective. We're looking at combined therapy, kind of like they've done in chemotherapy. Instead of just one drug, we're combining several drugs to try and improve the outcome with ovulation induction. UAMS has also recently launched a culinary medicine program because a healthy weight and good nutrition can increase chances for pregnancy. We have a nutritionist who's in our practice Monday and Tuesday talking to patients about healthy eating, lifestyle modifications to improve the success rates with fertility treatment. They are now also looking at adding it to their medical school curriculum. Dr. Richard Davis says the journey is a difficult one, but she is happy to play a part in changing lives. Helping couples become a family is awesome. It's just unbelievable. She's now researching ways to bring a low-cost capsule treatment to Arkansas that's currently offered in the Dallas area. In Little Rock, I'm Vanessa Page, THV 11 News.